Yes, I'm sorry. I think we were disconnected. Um, I'm calling about information about my son who went to school there. Yes, his name's Jonathan Randall. Well, I'm his biological mother, and... I understand that, but what are you telling me, that I have to fly to Switzerland or Riva, something? what are you doing? Ruth speaking. Hey, it's me, Bill. Everything okay? So far, so good. Yeah, well, I was getting a little nervous. Is uh, Phil up there with you? No, I'm waiting for Mr. Spaulding now. All right, well, just be careful, okay? I will be. Forgive me, sir. My cat is in the veterinarian. Oh, I'm sorry. Is everything okay? Yes, sir. Oh, that's good. All right. Ooh. Now, where were we? I was about to tell you why I'd make the perfect executive assistant. That's right. And I was about to tell you how you could prove it. Bill? Hey, how's Cassie? Fine, considering the woman who once tried to kill her is back in town. Listen, Edmund, I'm not even going to try to defend Dinah. Good. But I think it's important that everyone understands that Cassie has nothing to worry about. I mean, that was a long time ago, and Dinah was going through a lot. Oh, I see. So if you have a bad day, you should shoot someone, because that'll make you feel better. <clears throat> it's not what I'm saying. Dinah never had it easy. OK, she lived a very lonely existence. Hart was her first love. And when that fell apart, she lost it. That's all. But she's come a long way. She's back in town because she wants to make it right, just like the rest of us. Well, a lot of people experience loneliness and rejection, Bill. It doesn't mean they should go out and kill someone. Edmund, she's had it rough from day one. If you want to be mad at someone, maybe you should be mad at my mother. Maybe she thought she was doing the right thing when she gave my sister away, but she set her up for a life of being unloved. Well, perhaps if she wants to be loved, she should adjust her behavior. And she has. She has, and that's what I'm trying to say. The heart incident, that, that, that was an isolated thing. Dinah is lucky to have a brother like you. She really is. But if you want to do something good for your sister, persuade her to stay away from Cassie and her family. It's interesting. Interesting what's interesting? I think you of all people would have a little understanding for her. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. It's not you. It's everything. Why don't we go inside? I can lie down. Or you can help me make brownies. RJ would love brownies. No, I'm not tired or hungry. And I don't want to be in there. Every time I walk through that door, all I can think about, all I can see is Hart lying there after Dinah shot. Okay, okay, you know what? We have a lot of good memories here, and we're going to have to concentrate on those. I try to. But then my head always goes back to that one day. And Dinah. And I think about her being back here and in our house, going through our stuff. She's in jail, OK? She can't hurt us. But it was so easy for her to slip back into our lives. Until she was caught. Right. She's behind bars. There's no way I can feel safe, Mom. And I don't think you do either. You see you've come to your senses? Well, I know what I have to do. Good. You're going to get me out of here, smart man. You know, I've listened to your threats, and I've watched you try to control me and the situation. I gotta hand it to you, Diana. You're in top form. Always looking out for yourself, aren't you? Like anybody else would? Yeah. You know, I could understand why you would say that. Even though it's not true. Who? You? Yeah, me. Why not me? Well, I could think of a few reasons. You know, there's something that I've wanted to do ever since I saw you back here. Jeffrey, look, I don't need a muffin. Hey, I, I know that I said I wasn't going to interfere, but I'm worried about you. I thought you said you would drop this whole overprotective mother thing if I stayed in Springfield. What happened to our deal? Did we have a deal? Oh, come on, Sandy. Look, I'm just... I'm a mother who's trying to protect her kid. That's what mothers do. When you're 10, do I look 10? Well, sometimes you act that way. You make me feel it. Well, I didn't mean that. It wasn't my intent, and I'm sorry. Stop saying you're sorry and just don't do it anymore. In fact, stop messing around in my life, period. Hey! And don't try and justify it either, because you can't. I've got by this far without your help, and I but think I can point, survive. Sandy. You don't have to. I'm here for you now. Let me help you. See, you're impossible. This is exactly why I was going to leave. No wonder Mara, Shane, and Dylan all took off. They had to get away from you as fast as they could. 
You see me and Dinah as soulmates? Am I supposed to be flattered by that? No, all I'm saying is for a man who's made his share of mistakes, I would think you would have a little compassion for her. Well, I've made my fair share of mistakes, which means I know what she's capable of doing. And you understand her because you're just as capable of going overboard if you think you're losing someone you love. Later. I want a simple agreement. You keep my secrets and I keep yours. As far as deals go with the devil, this isn't so bad. And even if it were, you can't afford to turn this down. I had the wrong person. All right, Ruth, let me tell you what I expect. I, you don't have to take notes. That's all right, I, I appreciate the energy, but it's not necessary. Please continue, Mr. Spong. All right. What I expect, what I demand, is complete loyalty and discretion. I assure you, Mr. Spaulding, I built a career on discretion. Well, that's what I want to hear. Now, tell me again, Ruth, why, why exactly did you feel that you needed to leave the employee of Mr. Lewis? Young Mr. Lewis was scattered, disorganized. Mm -hmm. Miss Spencer was a manipulative shrew of a boss. <laughs> Excuse my candor, sir. No, that's quite all right. I happen to agree with you. I'm thinking, Ruth. Maybe there's some other things about the Lewis operation that you could tell me. You know, things that, that maybe I don't know. Are you trying to bribe me, sir? I, I have always thought that bribe was a very harsh word. Information is a valuable currency, and I would insist that you be compensated for it. Come on, Ruth. Now, if I know the Lewises, that's more than you've made in the last six months. Joey! I, I completely forgot it was your first day. Yeah, I'm on my break, and I wanted to say hi to your dad. Thank him for the job. Kissing up to the boss. That's not what I'm doing, Lizzie. No, of course not. You don't need to. You're better than that. Too good for it. <laughs> Look, Lizzie, do we have to do this? What? I'm, I'm just giving you a compliment. I'm not trying to pressure you or anything. I kind of felt pressured at company. Yeah, I know. And I really feel horrible about that. I've been trying to figure out how I need to act around you. I mean, we slept together, Joey. And, and for me, that was... It's just gonna take me a while to get over it, and I hope you can be patient with me. Just be yourself, okay, Lizzie? Otherwise, Tammy's gonna... I know, she'll suspect something, and we both don't want that to happen. I'm having that nightmare again. It's the night that Dinah shot Hart, and she comes back to the farm, and she shoots you, too. Then she turns the gun on me. When she pulls the trigger, I wake up. Yeah. One more reminder of everything you've been through in your life. Yeah, that we've both been through. Tammy, I can't make this go away. But Dinah is behind bars, and she's going to stay there. Unless she gets paroled in a couple years. I'll fight it. She says she's changed. They could believe her. Nobody changes that much, OK? They can say they have. But all it takes is one thing to set them off, and it's Was that my goodbye present? Well, let's just say that I wanted to show you how I feel. How you feel? Since when? I've tried to get close to a few people in my life, but it never worked out. I always pushed them away. I don't know why. Maybe it was because I was afraid. But with you, there's something that keeps pulling me back. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I know you better than anyone? Maybe. Then I don't judge you. And you make me feel... Alive. What do you want, Jeffrey? What do I want? I want you. You're serious? I want you and I want us to go away together. Yes, I'm serious. And how would you pull something like that off? Well, first of all, we, you know, we can't let this thing go to trial. 
That would be way too risky, so I've got to figure out some way to spring you out of here. Wow, you do that all for me? Of course I do it for you. We could go anywhere you want. <laughs> anywhere. Wow. Do you remember Monaco? <laughs> I do. Yes, Monaco was a blast. This is very sudden. Hmm? You're the one that told me that I don't belong here, right? That I'll never fit in here. You won't. You're not going to fit in here either. I could. You want these people hmm, constantly judging you? Do you want those people around you all the time? No. You need that about as much as I do. Well, mm -hmm. you're right about that. Okay, so what do you say? Let's get out of here. Edmund, we were talking about Dinah. I know. Uncle Edmund, do you believe that Dinah could have changed? I don't know, Tammy. I never knew Dinah. I have no point of reference. Well, you can borrow mine. She's a whack job. Your mother's probably right, Tammy. It's not possible for anyone to completely change. Hey, for some people. You know, they have to prove that over time. That isn't good enough for me. Can we stop thinking and talking about Dinah? No. I need to get out of here for a little while. Okay, great. I'll grab a coat. I'll go for a walk with you. No, no, no. I need to go by myself. Please don't follow me. Tammy! Let her go. Let her go. Let I am worried about her, Edmund. I'm worried about both of you. I just... I wish there was some way I could make this all go away. Is that what you really think? That I push my kids away? I'm sorry I said that. Well, you don't have to be. But now I'm gonna have to pummel you. I said I'm sorry. Put yourself in my shoes, Sandy. You know someone that you care about a lot, and you know they're in trouble. What do you do, just sit back and do nothing, or do you help? No, I, I would help, but in this case, I don't need any help. Yeah, well, my gut's telling me something different. Well, your gut's wrong. Ignore it. I can't. This mom doesn't operate that way. It's just not right that uh, you're worrying about me when... What? Nothing. No, come on, no. tell me. You said uh, it's wrong for me to be worrying about you when what? <sighs> when Philip Spaulding's trying to steal Cross Creek. He what? I can't accept this, sir. What if I were to double it? Mr. Spaulding, I may not approve of Mr. Lewis, but I am not a gossip. It would be the same if I left your employ. Mm. Congratulations, Ruth. You just passed the first test. Thank you, sir. I'm thrilled beyond words. Oh, certainly wouldn't want to have someone working for me whose head was easily turned by the smell of fresh bills. Are you offering me the job, sir? Not yet. I just want us to be friends again, okay? Uh, maybe I can prove it to you by taking you to lunch today? Lizzie, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Come on. The burgers in the cafeteria are great. I know if we can just hang out together, then you'll see that everything's back to normal again. Maybe, uh... Hello? Hey, Tam. What? No, 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 no. Um, I'll come over there. You shouldn't go by yourself. Yeah. Okay, just stay put. Bye. Look, I gotta go. You can't go anywhere. This is your first day of work. Uh, Lizzie, I'm on a break, okay? I'll be a little late back. I gotta go. I need your help. Everything is falling apart. Who are you? You would really leave this place and just throw away your career? I was leaving anyway. Yeah, I know, but you'd have to break the law and throw your life away. I'm gonna start a new life with you. Hmm. 
And that means that we would be on the run, and uh, that's not a walk in the park. And what would we do for money? I would take care of you, Dinah. spend our nights in front of the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes, and that sounds incredibly romantic, yes, but how long could that last? How about forever? Huh? Come on. We're gonna get out of here and we'll leave these messed up people to their messed up lives. And leave Cassie to her life. This isn't about you wanting me. This is about you wanting to protect Why Cassie. do you have to always think about it like that? Well, see, because that's what it is. You're leaving a woman to protect her. Very simple. I'm offering you something here, something that could be perfect, and all you can think about is Cassie. All I can think about Cassie? No, excuse me. I think I have a few other things to worry about here. I told you, I will never, ever be her stand-in again. You'd rather go to prison. Oh, I'm not going to prison because you're going to get me out of here. I can't stop this case, Diane, okay? Get that through your head. The case is moving forward. If it does, I will tell Cassie every single thing, every dirty little thing, and she'll hate you. Well, she's hated me before, and she's going to hate me again. You just made a big mistake. Jay, sweetie, I know that she seemed like your friend, but she's not. Not really. She told me stories and brought me ice cream. Ice cream? That day at the hotel? RJ, is Dinah your imaginary friend? The imaginary friend that you have been playing with for weeks now? You know what? Can you go upstairs and play with your cars and I'll bring your brownies up in a little while? Great. Yeah, I, I don't care. Just tell me what you know. Well, I don't really know anything. Sandy! I know that Philip tricked Hawk into signing something, and Josh oh, and Sam, Billy are... Sam, God, Sam. Bill! It's... Do you know anything about this? Why didn't Josh tell me? Is Philip trying to steal Cross Creek from us? Nice going. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we didn't want you to worry. That's, that, that's... No, you didn't want me getting in the middle of it. Well, that too. This isn't funny. Josh should have told me. You sh you all should have said something so why, to me. Why, why, what are you, you going to do? Flap the handle, get emotional and crazy? Why wouldn't I get emotional? It's Cross Creek. Josh and I were married there. Shane was born there. Your granddaddy, HB, is resting under that big oak tree in the yard. You think I'm just going to sit back and, and let Philip take all that away from us? Reva, please. Dad and Uncle Josh are handling it. They do not want you to interfere. Interfere? That's right. Well, this is my life, too. Well, mine, too. You gonna help me out here? I, I have yet to figure out how to change her mind on Is anything. that right? Is that right? Well, will you please, please, at least call Uncle Josh first. Okay. Huh. I'll call Josh. He's not gonna like it, because I don't know who I'm madder at right now. Philip or him? Excuse me. Oh, 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 you looking for your phone? No, I'm not looking for my phone. Give me that. You take those. I shouldn't drive because I'm liable to plow my car right into his front door. I'm Ruth Karloff, dear. I'm <laughs> interviewing for a position here. Lizzie Spaulding. Yes, dear. I'll give you two some time. 
You'll never get this job. Uh, now nah, Mr. Spaulding will see right through you. So Joey left work to go see Tammy. Don't get angry, Dad. I told him I would cover for him, sort of. I'm not going to tolerate that kind of behavior. Yeah, but you can't get him in trouble. I wouldn't want you to do that. Lizzie, this boy was feigning interest in you so that he could get a job here. No, 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 no. It wasn't like that at all. Joey's like the greatest guy I know. Well, besides you. And I can't lose him. It's, it's Tammy's fault. She's playing on his sympathies, and she's trying to confuse him. But I'm so much smarter than her. I'm not... I'm going to stop her. Are you sure that this boy is what you really want? More than anything. All right. I'll help you. You will? Well, that's what you came here for, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Well, how are you going to help? You leave that to me. I I can't believe you actually do this for me. Hey. You're my princess. I adore you. I would do anything to make you happy. <laughs> Excuse me, dear. Who are you? Derek James. I'm applying for the assistant position. Actually, I've been working in the company for uh, over a year, toiling in the mailroom. Well, good for you, Mr. James. Now get lost. You're too late. <laughs> Excuse me? Do you have wax in your ears, young man? I'm Mr. Spaulding's new assistant. He just hired me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, HR sent me. Well, HR made a mistake, mailboy. As did you, coming in here like you own the place. FYI. I was organizing my desk. Oh, organizing. <laughs> it looked to me more like you were searching the place. Tell me, Mr. James, would you like a better job or would you like a fat lip? Stay put, okay? Why did you come back here? Well, to face up to what I did, I made a mistake. A mistake? You murdered Hart. I know. I, I did something terrible. And I'm going to regret that every single day for the rest of my life. Well, it's not going to bring Hart back. It won't do anything. There's nothing I can say at all that's going to take away your pain. But I, I, I know that you loved him, and I loved him, too. Oh, that's right. You were gunning for my mom. Tammy, I am sorry. I don't care. And I know you keep telling everybody that you've changed, but I don't believe it. And I will never forgive you for what you did. Whoa, well, lady, why don't you sit back down? You okay? I'm fine. If I would have known who you were back at the farm, I would have turned you into the cops myself. I'm sure you would have. You were very lucky to have a guy like this care for you so much. I take it you guys are back together? I've been around long enough in town to hear what's been going on. My cousin Lizzie, she's still giving you problems? Cousin? It's over now. Yeah. You are as sweet and pure as your mom is. Let me tell you something. If you learn one thing from my presence in your life, you should watch out for girls like me who tend to love a little too much. Let me tell you something, Dinah. I'm not scared. And neither is my mom. You can't hurt us ever again.
What's going on? Dinah was RJ's imaginary friend. What? She was stalking him. Stalking him. She already took one person I love. She's not going to take my son. Now give me the knife back, Cassie, Edmund. Stop. Give it to me. Stop. What are you going to do? Smuggle it in the police station? She has to pay. She will, Cassie. Yeah. You bet she will. Because I'm going to do everything I can to make sure she spends the rest of her life in prison. Can you believe this? Can you believe my son's new best friend is the woman who killed his father? That is so sick. Cassie, I want you to stop worrying about Dinah. <sighs> Mommy, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Okay. Look, Cassie, I have to, I have to run an errand. Um, I won't be long. Excuse Edmund, me. Edmund, wait. Edmund! Are you mad because of my friend? No. Sweetie, come here. Come here. I'm not mad, okay? But I need you to understand something. You're never going to see your friend again. She's going away and she's not coming back. I'm sorry. upstairs and I'll be up there as soon as I can. I'm glad you're here. Well, that's a first. I've made my mind up about Dinah. Does the state still have the death penalty? Philip. Oh dear, no. What are you doing? I mean, we're, we're friends, right? We go way back. Obviously, that doesn't mean anything yes, to you. Yes, we're friends. I assume this is about Cross Creek. Damn right it's about Cross Creek. It's not personal. It's just business. It is personal. It's very personal, and you know it. Madam, this is a place of business. You'll need to leave. You know what? Butt out! What's going on with you? Why have you turned into such a complete ass? Reva, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You know I should teach you a lesson. <gasps> Madam, Mr. Spaulding asked you to calm down. I think it's time you did just that. What? So, what were you doing with RJ? I know that you were his imaginary friend. Mm hmm So what were you hoping to accomplish? Were you going to get him to trust you and then kidnap him? What? Oh, my God. RJ is Hart's son. I helped bring him into this world. I would never do anything to hurt that boy. But you would do something to hurt Cassie. If I wanted to hurt Cassie or RJ, I had plenty of opportunities. So your life in the run has changed you, is that it? You wouldn't kill anyone, but blackmail's all right? Well, I prefer to call it self-preservation. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't matter. Cassie is more determined than ever to see that you're prosecuted to the full extent of the law, and I'm not so inclined to disagree. Well, I think maybe you should rethink that. Because if I go down, you go down with me. Do you remember that day we were on the porch and we didn't believe that R.J. was talking to someone? Yeah, it was Dinah. It was Dinah. Yeah. We were only 10 feet away. Oh, and get this. That day at the hotel when R.J. had ice cream, she gave it to him because he told me. And that was the same day. That the flower pot fell on my head. Yeah, I know. So she hasn't changed, okay? She's still a cold-blooded killer and I'm still her target. Well, you know, Cassie, there's, there's no proof of anything. I don't need proof, okay? I know it was her. And she has to be stopped, and you have to stop her. Okay. If that's what you really want. Yes, that's what I want. What is going on with you? Why are you acting like this? Well, because, Cassie, sometimes justice comes at a high price. So I need to know if you're going to be willing to pay that price. Let me go. It's all right, Ruth. You can let her go. And don't touch me again. What is she, your personal guard dog? Reva, I really don't want there to be any hard feelings Fine, between us. Fine, back off Cross Creek. I'm sorry, I can't do that. So the rumors are true. You really should be back in the nut house. You know, I really wish you would stop trying to make this personal. Although I know emotional histrionics are your strong suit. You pompous idiot. Mrs. Spaulding, there's a disturbance? 
I took the liberty of calling for assistance, Mr. Spaulding. I hope you don't mind. That's all right, Ruth. I think Mrs. Lewis is finished. Not even close. Oh. Arrest her. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no need to do that. Oh, I'm not done. We're not through with this yet. You're going to be so sorry, Philip. Come on, I'll make sure that she doesn't bother you again. If you'd like to argue with me, you can join her. What an eventful day, sir. Ruth, you brute. You're hired. Proud of you. You are? Yeah, and what you did to Guts. Oh, I just want to forget about it. Forget about what? You know, maybe I'll go over to the Springfield U campus and help Remy and Moreno with the voter registration drive. I just wanted to tell you that it's completely okay that you left early. I took care of it. Thanks. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Hey, I need to see you. I'm busy. Well, you need to get unbusy, okay? This is more important. Oh, let me guess. You need help picking out what shoes to wear for your coming out party? Yeah, very funny. Okay, listen, this is about Tammy. Are you still interested? Depends. Okay, well, I think I can hook you two up, but, you know, I'm not gonna beg. Where are you? Well, not now. Like, tomorrow. Meet me at company. I'll be there. What are you doing here? I have good news and I have bad news. All right, well, just tell me. The bad news is I got Reba Shane arrested. Well, what's the good news? I'm hired. That's great! Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm... Oh, sorry. I... Did I... I'm sorry. <sighs> That's okay. I need to get out of this get-up anyway. <sighs> oh! Say hello to Philip's new executive assistant. <laughs> I know a trial won't be easy, but I have to go through with this. Won't be easy, Cassie. That's the understatement of the year, okay? It's going to be a vicious dogfight. Tammy's going to have to testify. Which means that she's going to have to relive that night all over again. My daughter is every bit as strong as I am, and we'll get through this together. Okay, well, that's good, because you're going to need each other. For the hours and hours of prepping for the trial. And then when we, once we finally get to the trial, I hope you're ready for this, okay? Because Dinah is going to be presented as the heartbroken fiancé, while you and your lover heart are going to be the dirty adulterers who couldn't keep their hands off of each other. But that's not true. There's no such thing as truth, okay? What matters is the perception of the truth in the courtroom and out. Think about the media circus, okay? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about the tabloids? And all of your children are going to be affected, Cassie, especially little RJ. Why are you doing this? Why are you making this sound so awful? You need to know what you're up against here. You need to know how brutal this is going to be. I get it, okay? I hope so. Because when this is over, you're going to ask yourself, was it worth it? And... You're going to blame me. I doubt that. Trust me, you will. <laughs> Don't you look at me like that. I only have your best interests at heart. Oh, I see. So my best interests are your best interests? Yeah, something like that. You know, this is not about you losing Cassie. This is about me seeing you hit Jeffrey over the head with a shovel, cause the fire that nearly killed her and her son. Oh, how I wish you were trapped in that barn. Oh. Well, that's not very nice, Edmund. Look, I like you. I just hate the idea of both of us going to prison. Well, it would almost be worth it to know how much you'd be suffering. You don't mean that. Don't I? No. You're a very smart man. And you're going to figure out a way to fix this. If I ever think that you're a threat to Cassie and her children again, I will tell her everything. 
and risk losing her? No, I don't think so. I think that you want to hang on to her. I think I've seen that firsthand. Don't test me. Okay. Look, I don't want to get ugly here. I want to keep your secrets. I really do. Wait, I know I have to do now. Right. I need a favor. And I need you to be discreet.